What is up everybody, my name is Saber Ice. welcome to my channel, and I know I'm a little bit late to this, but Pokemon Sword and Shield has been announced. And you, today I'm just gonna, you know, watch the trailer and like react to it, and you know, just give you my thoughts. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this game looks really, really nice. Like, it really, it really like what I thought of um, a Gen A Pokemon game. It re it really, it looks like that. And like, e like you can see all the little detail that like the developers put into this. It's really nice. The character. Okay, so that. For, uh, one of the first things I want to say is that's a giant backpack. Like. I don't know why we have such a back big backpack. Maybe it's gonna be like, maybe it's just like for design, and it's kind of like um, it's kind of just you know for design, I guess, but not really for um, it's not really for like that that we're gonna be whole, uh having a lot of stuff in the backpack, sort of if you know what I mean. Okay, and the character designs are eh, it's it's okay. Um, it's honestly like what uh, what I would think of like a UK region, I guess, sort of. I'm sure if I fed anyone who's actually watching this, and you know the girl design looks also very nice, but like look how smooth that was. Okay, hold on. Okay, look how like smooth that is. Just her like walking down the little steps. Everything looks beautiful. Like this, oh, this apparently there's like gonna be like a train that goes out through, throughout the entire region, as like you can see right here. The stream and it's it looks like just this entire game looks so cool. Oh, and apparently people have been saying that these are the gyms and gyms have been confirmed to be in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so that's that's really cool. I it's it'll, I think it'll be really fun to go back to gyms after you know the trials in Sun and Moon. Yeah, and but you can see all the little bits of detail like here and there. Oh, and also there's no more um. Like, like, uh, it, like, what's the word? It's kind of like, you know how in Let's Go Pikachu where you could see the Pokemon walking around in the wild grass? Uh, there's a word for, there's a, like, specific term for that, but I don't remember. But, like, uh, you could go and just, you could choose what Pokemon you want to, I guess, like, sort of interact with. But, like, in this game, it's just, like, random encounters, which is, it's nice, I guess. And also, the Pokemon in this look really, really cool. Like, I think... There was a leak a while ago of like, um, a, po of a um, like a thing where, uh, like a picture where they showed like this sort of Pikachu or like you know, like a Pokemon, okay, and it kind of looked like this, and it was just, it looked really really cool, and it looks really really smooth to be honest. Like all those all the Pokemon look really really sm really really smooth, and as you can see, it's gonna be like a mix of Pokemon. So there was Michino, Pikachu, and then obviously Wishy Washy. And I like, um, hold on, I want to go back to this. I like how at this part, um, <clears throat> when you battle them, it's kind of like how in, um, Pokemon Black and White, when you would, like, uh, battle a gym leader. Uh, I think I'll, I'll put a picture on screen, uh, right now of, of what I mean, but you'll see the resemblance, and it's pretty interesting. I really liked it. Yeah, and then, there's a, there's a, like, and then the animations for, like, all the moves are really, really cool as well. It just, the game looks so smooth. Okay, and this part, this is, like, one of the craziest, like, things everyone has been talking about. And I actually want to talk about this, like, after we, we keep on going. Because I, I uh, it kind of, it reminds me of something. Okay, and this part, this is, like, everyone's been talking about this. Uh, so, obviously, he's wearing, like, a sort of soccer, you know, like, uniform. And, oh, also, I just realized it's, like, 227, so, like, February 27th. That's cool. But, um. Yeah, I just realized that, uh, yeah, so the soccer, the soccer uniform, uh, most people are saying that it's actually going to be for, like, when you go to battle gyms in the game, you'll have to wear this sort of uniform, because, you know, soccer's competitive, gyms are competitive, soccer, UK, you know, it, it kind of, kind of links together, so that's pretty cool, that's, that's an interesting concept, <clears throat> yeah, so then, um, I think this is where we see, yeah, the starters, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that the starters, I have really mixed feelings about. I don't really have a favorite right now. The bunny looks really, really nice, to be honest. But, like, I don't know. There's something about something about it just makes it seem, like, really... Um, 
I guess it's, it gives me like Sonic sort of like art style. Like I you kind of I kind of think it looks like a Sonic art style, which is okay. But like I don't know, this Score Bunny is probably like my last choice for this game. But what I really wanted to do is I want to actually see the um, final evolutions of all the pro of the starters, and then I can choose. And the reason that because this Pokemon Sobble, um, I feel like right now it's supposed to be like a really sad and like, like scared Pokemon. When it evolves, it'll probably become like a really giant monstrous Pokemon, kind of like how Wimpod evolved into Glycopod, sort of, you know. But like this is a three stage evolution too, so that's really cool, Sobble. And then okay, yeah, and then this guy, this I don't know. So I'm currently between Sobble and Grookey. I think that's what his name is. Grookey, yeah, but um, I'm currently between those two. I don't really, um, uh, Grookey is like super duper like cute to be honest. Like, it looks really really cute, really really nice. And then Sobble, I kind I kind of wanna kind of leaning towards that as well. So w what I was saying before about like seeing the final evolutions, depending on that, I'll actually choose my star. For now, I think I'm on Sobble, but that might change to Grookey, um, when the final evolutions get released. Yeah, so those are the three starters. It's pretty interesting, to be honest. And of course, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield are the names of the new Pokemon games releasing worldwide in late 2019. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that these names are... I don't know. I'm not really that comfortable with the names. So, so you've already seen online, there's like little like joke, joke um, Pokemon titles like, Oh, Pokemon... Ketchup and mustard, Pokemon, um, I don't know, like, uh, ha pizza and hamburgers or something, you know, this, like, those are, like, jokey answers, you know, this sounds like one of those jokey answers, it doesn't sound like a legit Pokemon title, but it is, and I feel like it's gonna take, you know, a little bit of getting used to, I guess, but, you know, I think, I think, um, the games, we've been, this was announced, like, two days ago or something like that, so, and I've gotten pretty used to it by now. It's still, it's still kind of a weird name, but you know, I think by the time it comes out in like, I guess November, December, it'll be, it'll be like, you know, it'll be, we'll be used to it. And also, um, these Pokemon on the top, it's, it's, eh, I don't really like. Obviously, we don't know anything about this Pokemon, but the logos are really weird. It's just like a sword with a wolf attached and a shield with a wolf attached. Obviously, these are gonna be probably the new Pokemon and probably like somehow related to the legendary pokemon i don't know if they'll both be wolves because like these two they're basically the exact same thing just like different colored um obviously th this pokemon sword one will be like super offensive and then the shield one will be super defensive that's obvious but like i don't really know like how they're gonna design them okay so now uh let's take a quick look at the the stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. the three Pokemon you'll first meet, Grookey, Scorbunny, Sobble. Grookey is a mischievous chimp Pokemon that's full of boundless curiosity. It's pretty cute, you know? I, I really like it. Scorbunny is it's a rabid Pokemon that's always running about bursting with energy. It seems like that one hyperactive kid, like, that you know, that's like, that always gets himself into trouble or something. And then Sobble, this, this Sobble's just, one. he was holding the football, someone took it from him, and now he's wondering what happened to his football, you know? Yeah, a somewhat timid water lizard Pokemon that shoots its that shoots out attacks as it hides itself in the water. It's it's a pretty interesting Pokemon, honestly. Like these three, uh, I don't know. They, this there's something about them that it doesn't really give me that Pokemon like sense, you know? Um, but but you know, it, it's 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 the new starters. So hopefully we'll see the evolution soon. Uh, I think it's like. I'm recording this in March, so we probably might not see it until, like, sometime in April. I don't know. It's kind of... They, they really... They released the, the information really slowly. But, yeah. So, I, so the region is um, called the Galar region. Or, it's Galar Galar. I think it was Galar region. They said in the direct. Okay, yeah. And uh, here's a... Here's a... Here's a high-definition pic. And, like, it looks... It looks... It's pretty huge, to be honest. Like... And it's also, I think most people have already figured this out, it's based on the UK region, um, like the real life UK, and it's sort of supposed to be like flipped over, and uh, 
so this is probably like where you're gonna start and then the professor's house is like somewhere here or here i guess i'm not really sure and then this we saw this in the actual trailer where then i think let me go back and see if i can find it um we saw this somewhere in the trailer but um yeah yeah right here right here we saw this in the trailer so it's this it's this like rust like not rust like brick and um like gear sort of uh city right here so that's probably what it is and this over here is the pokemon well we assume it's the pokemon league it's pretty massive it's like oh oh you can see oh this is obviously based on london because you can see the, the big ben right here and i think in real life this is called the london eye i think that's what it's called and yeah this is this is pretty much gonna be the Pokemon League, I think most people have figured it out, but, like, it's pretty cool how it's an actual, like, city, instead of just, like, on a random mountain, we decide to make this, like, little area where you can battle, like, the strongest people or whatever. It's pretty interesting how they made an entire, entire city. And also, like, there's, like, the tr train tracks are, like, everywhere throughout this region, so there's, like, some over here, okay, so there's, like, a train station that, go through, that goes through here, and then, I think, well, hold on, so, yeah, I don't know if the, this and this are sort of linked together because these this look, looks kind of different to that this might just be like a normal bridge actually um, oh there's some like little like ruins over here and stuff yeah um there's like train tracks everywhere so like oh yeah there's some there's some train tracks over here um there's some train tracks over here and like it's a, oh you can see the little thing over here that I was gonna I'm gonna talk about and yeah there's pretty much people have been trying to figure out like where the gyms are in this game because you know they've confirmed that They've actually confirmed where the gyms are in this game. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll visit various gyms in the Galar region and aim for the Blah Blah Champion. So, like, this pretty much confirmed that there is gyms in the game. So, people have identified, like, a couple of them, like, um, like this one's a gym, this one's a gym. They're also they're supposed to be, like, designed around, like, a soccer stadium, which is pretty cool, which is, like, also where... Um, you would wear the soccer soccer um like uniform sort of I don't know, let me find it yeah yeah right here yeah right here right here so like um see see if you see that um little let me go back a bit okay so if you see uh right right here there's like these if you saw that little like red and blue patch on the on this side over there, you uh, that's basically like supposed to be the sort of I guess gym logo. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna we're going back to gyms. I'm pretty excited about that to be honest. And also, um, uh, let's what's it called? So yeah, so I want to talk about this part, okay, right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, when I first saw this, wait, let me let me see if I can find the part in the actual video. Oh yeah, yeah, here, okay. So, when I first saw this, okay, so a couple of people have been, like, you know, speculating stuff. This is obviously, like, some sort of, like, monster. And apparently, this is, like, a real thing in real life, which is kind of crazy. Like, it's not exactly look like, it doesn't exactly look like this, but it's just supposed to be, like, a giant, like, sort of, I guess, I don't know if it's, like, a painting or something, but it's, like, sort of, like, a painting of a person. Of, like, and, like, it's supposed to represent something, and no one really knows who it is or what it does or anything like that. Um, now, okay, so it's, this is in this game obviously it's supposed to be like sort of monsters like breathing fire and there's like you know, Sparks coming out and stuff and I guess these are supposed to be people but when I first saw this the first thing I actually thought of was Meltan and Melmetal so if you if you look at this picture This is a picture that they they actually posted a while ago and you know obviously Mel Meltan and obviously Melmetal he doesn't really breathe fire I guess I mean like I, th I don't remember his moveset, I don't know if he learns fi fire, flamethrower or whatever, but like, obviously, and he doesn't have like the little tail with the spiky bits, or like, he doesn't really have a spiky back, he's pretty smooth, but like, um, his sort of like that one eye design right here, he has that one eye design, and also like, the these guys, they kind of look like they're scared and running away, but like, if you look in this, they're kind of like, the Melton are kind of just like, jumping around, like, sort of kind of worshipping this guy, so like, like, you can see the sort of resemblance, I guess. Like, I don't know. It's kind of... I, oh, no one really knows what it means yet. So, we're going to have to figure that out once we... You know, once the games comes out. Or, like, when, you know, they really release more trailers and we get more information. So, that's going to be pretty interesting. 
if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like this video and subscribe and also hit the bell for more uh, to be notified whenever notified whenever I release a new video. If you are hyped for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, be sure to subscribe as I'll be releasing more videos on this once the information new information comes out. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.